Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So this is my long anticipated video I've been meaning to talk about ever since I've done some more art in my sketchbook, which by the way, I'll be starting a new one soon and I will be giving a tour of my old sketchbook, aka this one. Um, and then I will start a new sketchbook, which I've already ordered um, from Evans Art Supplies. Not sponsored by the way. Evans, if you'd like to sponsor me, that would be great, even though I only have um, had 12 subscribers um, at this moment in time of uh, releasing this video. Um, I'm not going to get sponsored, but I order a lot from them, so maybe they can give me a discount or something. Anyway, and especially during this hard time, Evans have been great to getting all the stuff shipped out. Not, uh, not even shipped out, but uh, delivered to me. Um, because other places are just so expensive during this time. Anyway, so I was on the beach the other day and I gave you in my last video a bit of a blurred photo up on the screen now. But -da. This is what I gave you and hinted at for my next video or aka this video. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to keep you guys on my on your toes, but nobody ever watches my videos. Anyway, uh, we won't talk about that. I think I've discovered something, and I've been looking for it for a while, but I'm so happy. But then again, kind of confused. Um, I'll just say what it is. I think I found my style, my art style, as in. I have been looking for it forever. That kind of style that you're like, you, you see the Mona Lisa and you're like, that's Leonardo da Vinci, it's in a style. Or you see someone like Jazza, another art YouTuber, um, and you, you see his cartoon drawing and you're like, that's, that's Jazza. Or Ten Hundred, another favorite YouTuber of mine. And you see the style and you go, that's that's them. You can recognize the artist by their style. It's kind of like their unique way of drawing, painting, whatever. So, like I said, I was on the beach and I was drawing this new character. Pick. Here. Here. You know it. Cards up in the top right. Or if not, if I forget about it. Um, just go to my channel and it should be most recent video uh, and you when I combine the camera together that's that one his name is pick by the way short for picture don't know if you understand that reference anyway <laughs> wow that was awkward Um, I'm gonna show you that um little teaser I showed you but um so First thing you're gonna say guys in the comments when you see this, if anybody replies in the comments, is why the hell is this wonky and it's not straight? Well, I didn't have a ruler with me, simple as, and I'm not bothered to fix it because that's how art goes. So this was Pick, and this was after I created Pick, but I hadn't, oh no, I had, yeah, no, I had fully made it out. And getting a Posca pen and just like doing kind of like a rough version of it not even like a um if you want to call it a proper version but like doing like a rough version with like see this with like rough um shading that's the word i was gonna say grading but that's not it rough shading kind of like hatching but not hatching um but just making your lines so rough and start and stop, I don't know, it really hit me. And I was like, yes, I actually like this. I've been doing a lot of artworks recently that I haven't been a fan of. And, you know, not that I'm just comparing myself to other artists, but you, you, you look at your artworks and you're like, oh no, I'm not really happy with that. It just, just now I'm just disappointed with it. This these two pages, I am so happy. These are the happiest 
well, I'll, I'll get to something else in a second. But this is the happiest I have and confident I have been with my drawings in a while. And I've actually enjoyed the process. Not like known when to stop. And like I said, at the end of it, I go, yeah, that, that, that. That is really good. Yeah, I like it. I'm I'm gonna stop there or no, it just needs a tiny little thing. But yeah, no, it's it's good. And I'm so happy. And and it's 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 not the fact that like yes, I do hate um how should I put it? I do hate kinda when you're on procreate or like after you finish the sketch in pencil and you're tracing over it in uh your outliner or whatever and you're like you gotta get these perfect lines right you gotta get these perfect lines me i do not have a steady hand so i naturally or or it just takes me ages then if i'm trying to do like the perfect line all the way around and not that this process would be any quicker but looser as in you kind of have more of a flow and freedom to this style i feel and that's making me sound all posh and everything. And I know my stuff about art. But no, yeah. Weird the way I'm saying it. But yes. Uh, basically what I'm trying to say. Is I find the process of making straight even lines. Annoying. Tiring. Boring. And not exactly needed. So, this is what I'm also trying to say, though. I have something else I'm trying to say. And that is that people out there who are looking for a style and are is watching this video, you don't exactly need the one art style. For instance, I did something a while ago. I'm just getting it if you can't hear me. Off camera this piece of art that I did and I was really proud of myself for it and it is this so I've always said that I'm never good at drawing faces and people or, or, or detail on like a face yes there's one part of copying but then there's another part to creating your own face and body posture and whatever and I know you can use reference photos and um, but reference photos for faces just don't work for me. Or anything like that. So this is actually me. Without hair or whatever. So I don't give away anything too much. Um, but I painted this on a bottle. A nice shaped bottle. Spray painted it first. Um, and then I painted it. I turned my photo of myself into black and white and I made it really detailed you can't really see on the on the, the camera but um I have kind of made it I was wearing kind of like a um not a woolly jumper but like I up anyway I did re really detailed textures to it and I really liked the way I did this face kind of the light and the dark and it really stood out to me and this was kind of like the eye anyway something that I really just liked about this and that you don't have to have one specific art style but you can have two for instance a cartoon style and a realistic style now i'm not a pro artist and some people might think that my explanation or my 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 video this whole video might be wrong but this is just how i interpret this and how i feel styles should be or how you should look for a style and how not looking for one specific style anyway i'll tell you why i'm surprised that i think i found my styles and yes with an s styles is because a style or styles takes quite a while for an artist to find their own and yes your style or styles can change 
a lot over the time, depending on, you know, mood, your age, whether you're having a midlife crisis or whatever. But, yeah, it changes and you don't have to stick with the same one and you can have different ones. But it normally takes an artist a while to actually find their true style. But at the moment, I'm pretty happy with my style that I've just come up with. Or not necessarily come up with, but happy with. Uh, so I might not stick with this style, but I'm gonna do pieces of work similar to this. Either cartoon based or realistic from now on. Just because I'm happy with the way it comes out. And yeah, also another thing that I did recently, which I'll be making a video of soon, is this. This is a rock that I did. Um, on the beach, like I said, and I really like how this turned out. Kind of just like one Posca pen for the outline and then you do the black outline and it's kind of real simplistic but I really liked this. And yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Uh, kind of short, but then again it could be long depending on what other videos you're watching. But uh, I hope that kind of cleared it up and helped some people. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Speaking of which, I'm trying to upload more often rec recently because of the, you know, pandemic we're in and people are watching more stuff and I don't have much stuff to do. So I'm hoping to upload at least twice a week, uh, different to my once a week. So that'll be starting after this video. And yeah, I've got some really cool plans for my next videos. So if you have any other ideas, leave them in the comments down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And you don't have to, but if you like what I'm doing, if you want more of this con content, uh, consider subscribing. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.